and they're not fond of being educated. But there are still some that listen. It only takes someone from the outside to come in, to inform them. And if someone outside comes in, it better be someone that they know, someone they're familiar with, someone that could break down what was seen outside in more familiar terms. Credibility. Understanding. That's why I'm out here. He looks at you. Have you killed before? I've fought in dark ones. Gesture at the gloves. With my own hands. But if you're referring to people, then no. Of course not. That's good. Are you ready to die? My lady. He does a low bow. <laughs> I would reciprocate the question. Are you? Is anyone? Us watchmen died a long time ago. You all definitely do seem to have this macabre nature about all of you. There's that glint when you say that. And you're not the only Watchman I've met. Nor the only one that has said something like that. You all have that glint when you say that. I don't know what gives you all that glint. But I hope... I hope it's not all of you putting a foot in the grave as is. He just looks at you and you can even sort of see his underneath just appraising. I'm not asking for any secrets, Emil. I'm merely noting how you asked me before why I'm here. I told you that it's better for someone that people in the cities of light know. Well, if I'm being perfectly honest, if I sent you to go negotiate with any of my Lord's Alliance allies, I think more than a number of them would be put off by you. That's why I'm here as well. Yes. There's a slight nod. I could never fault someone who left their wall and courted death the way you do. You are a true ambassador. Well, thank you. But right. your allies, if <laughs> they were to shrink down, as you say, that would prove them little more than a shadow hiding from a great sun. Our only mortal. Let us give them something to stride towards, then. He just does a slight nod. You could have been a great watchman. <laughs> Would you mind letting your captains know that they should look around towards the cliff face up above. I'm sure there's some advantage we can steal from it. He just looks up at the right. I will inform them. Thank you. He comes and informs you of just that. Hey! 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 Shit! <laughs> oh, this fucking little crew puddle over here. Nope, sure does. They're gonna die. Yeah, They're gonna <laughs> die soon. <laughs> well, he tells the truth. Yeah, that is canon. It's a very weird feeling knowing the ending, but just seeing how we get there. I don't like it. Because it's oh, not like no. a because it's not like a TV show or movie where you know the ending <laughs> and you know there's a path to the ending. 
The thing is, we have no clue what the path is at all. We just know the ending's there. It's really a situation of who do you want to place bets on dying first? Me. Me. No. Yes. Okay, so, you make preparation. Emil gives the captains this information. The only real other thing I have to add is as Ren is going around, running her fingers softly on every. You see her demeanor change. I have a pretty good insight. What does her demeanor change to? Uh, roll it. Uh, nope, that's okay. GM. I was gonna say with advantage anyway, so roll it. Right. I will roll it again. Wait. I do have guidance. 16. You see it... It goes from perplexed to... She just sort of looks up and trails off as she lets her fingers slide off the building. I think, uh, I think Jericho will make his way over to her, and he has this, he has a knack for moving and weaving between people without being noticed. So he kind of like settles up next to her, looking at the uh, uh, gazebo here, as he says, uh, "Actually, an architecture, isn't it? They don't make them like this anymore. Whatever this is." No, I suppose not. So, uh, if you don't mind me asking, why you admiring the architecture? Something off with it. She just roll your perception. Gladly. Nice. Okay. She just looks up at this uh, tower and just shakes her head. Just wasn't expected. And you can see that there are wet on the scarf she has around the lower side of her mouth. Wait, I'm sorry, what's happening with the lower half of her mask? There are wet spots. As if there were tears streaming from underneath. She's mm. crying. Um, you're right, love. And he he like a look over his shoulder, make sure no one's like eavesdropping or watching them. We weren't expecting what a tower. You just see her like breath being very deep. Yes, a tower. What? No, I, I was I was kidding. <laughs> I don't actually think you're crying about the tower. Are you afraid? She just looks over to you and grabs both sides of your helmet. No matter what, don't forget who you are, Jeff. Uh. Do you promise me? It's kind of hard to forget who I am. I'm the, I'm the first person who knows who I am. But, right. If it's important to you, yeah. I, I, I won't forget that. What's this about? She just like, nods and continues nodding like she's trying to connect. Right. We have preparations to do. 
Hi. We get she walks on this pile of rubble and looks back to you. We get through this, all right? No. Because you still owe me a drink. I'm not going to let you die without cashing in, all right? And he'll stand there watching her go, scratching the back of his head, even though it's helmeted. And then he'll get to work. Ooh, perception is good. It's a 17 passive. She, after talking to you, stares one glance over towards Leona. And you see her wilt before walking away. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, this group has been together for, you know, five years or so. Uh, has it ever come up that she may or may not be like... Oh god, what's his name? Julius? Certainly, certainly has. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait, what? What was the question? She Nothing. <laughs> has she actively told any of us? No. But she okay. certainly knows things that she has no bad. She seems to have very accurate hunches sometimes. So she's either precognizant like like him or no 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 he's just like Logan, you know, he just just got a hunch. Mm -hmm. So I meant to ask this before, but did our characters get a spell or a cantrip from their time in the arcane? Yeah. Yes. Okay. One divine, one arcane, cantrip first level. And before silvery bar. Reaper day. Huh. What's the height gap from up on top of this cliff top to the rooftop of the manor? About 200 feet. Oh, shit. Uh, from the rooftop? No, it'd be like 50. Oh, okay. So this would be like 200. This would be like 150. This, okay. would, be like, this would be like 150. Okay. 200, 150, 120. And then this would be like 80. We can get some serious height. Uh, Jericho will also be using, uh, now that he is actually helping, he'll be using his uh, Mold Earth cantrip to. Uh, I get. Oh, here, let's actually put it in chat and see what it does. Oh, wait, fuck, I have so, as well. Because I think he can use that to dig out the outside base of the, the wall. Boost Earth, to pass it up to five feet away. That's great. Okay. Very difficult. Wait. Oh, perfect. Yeah, you can. Uh, if the dirt or stone uh, you target is on the ground, you can cause the bim difficult terrain. So, uh, you could go around making the uh, outside there. of the wall difficult terrain at least. Take five. All right, gotcha. All right, I'm gonna use the How far? So the mending it's... cantrip is uh, kosher. You can yeah. get it. Okay. Um, I got it for free because I am another dragon mark. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you have a problem. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> But depending on how much time we have, if King could have mending some of these, like, <laughs> stones or bricks back together. On yeah, the I walls. We, we could probably make a... My character and your character could probably work together to, like, make these walls fucking good. Or want them to be good, and Bad would want them to be bad. The yeah. thing is, I don't know if O's gonna, like, have us roll for anything, because... It's mildly irrelevant. But also, I'm gonna get some ribs. Be right back.
We should have made Jericho a necromancer wizard. <laughs> yes, you should. What do you mean everyone died? They're all right here. <laughs> shambling piles of corpses, I guess, following him at all times. Should I take ah! Bane or your shield of fire? I'm back. Welcome back. Yo. Because we need a spell and a cantrip, right? You get one a first level spell. up to a first level spell, or you could just get a secondary cantrip. Yeah. And you can cast that spell once per day. If you're a spellcaster, otherwise, you it's kind of the spell is prepared. Other shield of faith, so how does that work? So, Whenever fighting kicks off, get a well. Try, if you can, to be within 10 feet of me when the fighting kicks off. So I can do this. Oh. Ignore the first half. It's the second half that's important. Uh, same. God damn. Why did you roll 10d6 plus 8? That's uh, a lot of that's... ones. <laughs> yeah, a lot of ones. That's what I can do on a crit. Oh! What the fuck are you? Five D six. So I'm. Just, uh, yeah, that sounds about right. He's a monk. Oh, some other shit. Monk scald. So that's two D six account for right there. Sneak attack gives three D six. Five D six doubles ten. He's pretty <laughs> good. You just got to crit. Yeah. You Easy, just crit. Just gotta crit, yeah. Yeah, just, just crit all the time. Chuckle before you attack and then crit. Not <laughs> 20. <laughs> okay, so. Do you have everything ready? Jeez, man. Yes. I was about to say, are you ready? Uh. Kane. No, not Kane. Cade has gone around uh, mending bricks. Uh, I have made the ground outside the wall terrain. Okay. In some places, key places. Are we defending from the outside, or are we defending from the inside? From the inside. If we can keep Emil from jumping the wall. I work on making... The, well, are you gonna make us roll for any, any of the stuff, or is it just like... Yeah, you guys just do that. I mean, that seems reasonable. Okay. We'll be able to, like set barricades and shit to basically like force them to go down like a certain pathway they fly they can in fact fly you are correct <laughs> I'm thinking 2D would any toxin have any worth when dealing with Strig I don't really inject your toxin it, no oh okay yeah huh hello white noise I'm um, uh, I do have alchemist supplies if you can, could make an antitoxin. Okay. So, over the next few days, several watch members come in. Most of them you've never seen before. They all head through their your instructions and interim when the day of the operation officially kicks off you see a bright white light head into the sky over the infested area and it well and truly kicks off Uh, would we be able to cast spells, like, as we see them come up? Certainly, as long as you see them. Oh, 
you show. So I ask y'all, who do y'all want to run it? Want to run camp? If not, for simplicity, we can. You're kind of out of it. I said for simplicity, we can break so they're not all cluttering the combat. Up to you, Chief. Or I can run. I can run all the ones I made. So they're made pretty what. simple. I can run Runa. You roll who's in it. Whoever's in it, I will pull out, and they will be tasked with holding the back. Ah, okay. uh, I won't roll for Jericho then. I feel like I wouldn't do Sarah right. So I'm not going to roll for Sarah. Because Sarah seems much more conniving in a fight than actually in the fight. I'll do it for Uriah, though. Uh, yeah, I'll run. Run No reason not to. Hey, anybody got blessed by chance? They want to slap on some people? Uh, I have two characters with Bless. <laughs> Yo! Pass that shit out like candy. Or I also have this. Give me one second. Let me pull it up. Alright. Ma my main objective is uh, helping backstory reasons, so... I'm gonna hit Aid and give it to Leona, Jericho, and myself. Uh, I'm gonna emboldening Bond. Oh god. The number of... Oh, okay, so three people. We should have done this uh, set up when we had a five minute break. Whoops. Well, we were figuring out the fortification stuff first. Yeah, true. Oh, where the fuck is Jericho and shit? Jericho is right here in the middle. Right, right at the base of the, the tower. tower. Is your ass inside? <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> no. They got a nice straight line right here. Real. Uh, I'll, I'll emboldening bond myself, my brother, and then. Um. Who the fuck is near me? Uh, Naomi. Why not? Oh, oh, no, no. I'll, 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 I'll do Chad. Is oh, Rena yeah. on the tower? Correct. Gotcha. Uh, How high is it? <clears throat> I only have 50 feet. 50? Gotcha. Wait, no, wait. I can just bless everyone else, though. Mm. What is an uh, emboldening bond? Give. I get just a d4 once per turn to an attack roll, a saving throw, or ability check. Oh, okay. Yeah. So good. I can I can honestly bless like Jericho. Uh, and then Naomi. You know what? I'll have I'll have Kate be on the tower over here. Okay. Uh, Jericho has several hours into the. You began hearing buzzings. As you look into the sky, you begin seeing them. Why do we stand on top of the roofs when they fly down upon us? You stand on the roof? I thought we were in the, like a window or something. <laughs> That's a good first wave. It would have cast uh, blur on your image. What do you guys think? Blur's concentration. Um, does Naomi have higher AC? Naomi has twenty three AC. <laughs> well, then it depends on if you want to say blur or not, because she'd be really good with blur though. I'll pop blur now then. 
And there go all my second level spell slots. But hey, if we live through it, I could give one of you guys or myself spell slots. Oh. Wow. Nice. I'm being, wow. I like it. Nice. Nice. That Damn. that streak is pogoing right now. If he doesn't even know what that concept is. You see these creatures start heading towards you. But as you do, you notice something. They could fly over that mountain and leave you right alone. They could go to where the fight's heading. But they're not. They're coming here. The streaks fly in. They're quite a bit away. So they won't get to you this round. But you can see their intent. <laughs> Mr. Chadwick, soon to be Bozeman. <laughs> soon to be. If he survives, he will inherit the name. Uh, I didn't like this guy flying at me, right. so I'm just gonna shoot him uh, repeatedly. Uh, boop. Uh, no advantage from anything. 16 hit? 16 hits. Okay. And then a second attack. Uh, I'm gonna throw 14 does not. Uh, Hold on. Yes. <laughs> 18 is it. Uh, bam, bam. And. Oh. Uh, let's do bonus action. Hand cross, but that wouldn't get the magic weapon. Now would it? Oh, we wouldn't also get the plus one either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be happy because I. Just all of this means next. Holy shit, 16? Why the fuck? Did I roll a six? Oh, I just rolled fucking Max. good. All right. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, 24, 30. That's a black watch ship. That's a magic weapon. Ah, oh, sweet. Half health. It's something. Right now. Yeah. Uh, I could have fighting spirited and had advantage on that. Oh, well, well. It's a little experience. Anyway. Uh, well, Rena is 50 feet up, range of So that, that guy's, these guys are all out of, well, actually, uh, are any of these guys on a roof? Or are these all inside? If they're within your reach, they're within. Well, that's, that's why I'm asking. I don't know if I... the, the strings will be, they move. If you can reach it, you can reach it. Uh, I will go ahead and attack uh, uh, Rana. Uh, bonus action, bonus action, steady aim. And wait, I was like, blade down, yeah, whatever. Oh wait, favorite foe is uh, is there a range on that? No, there isn't. It's just I like had to hit it first. Yeah, and is it like uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, so you you don't get to move like Hunter's Mark Uh, oop. Oh, automatic damage zone. That's annoying. Turn that off. I'm sure 26 hits. On which one? Hmm? This which one? one are we targeting? <clears throat> oh, sorry. Uh, the one with the orange dot on that one there. I knife right out of the. Nice, nice, nice. Easy. Let's go! Yeah, that was action, bonus action, that's a turn. What is King? Um, we're going to deploy a gadget from his arsenal. We're going to pop um, the tracking flare over here where um these three and this one 
I guess it's these five all right here in this 20 radius will be uh, marked by the flare. Okay. Gotcha. Um. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll. Can you? All right. Here's a question, Crash. Um. Hold if on. I use his overdrive on this, can I use it on a different gadget? Because he can deploy two, or is it just you pick the one you want to use it on? Uh, it's. Let me let me go. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's fine. It says during the turn, so I would apply to both. Okay. Um, then we'll use one of his overdrives. That way, it's not a lot, but it's like everybody has an extra plus one to hit on these things. On the, the ones in that radius. Gotcha. Um, and then we'll shoot out his, uh, his lodestone talons at something, maybe. Yeah, one of these little ones is in range for that. Okay. I guess we'll do the little one over here for those. Wait a second. That one was it in range of the flare. Yeah, it was. All right. Then I have advantage. Let's go. Um, and then he would have an attack too, because he can deploy, uh, either two gadgets or make three attacks on the first round yeah. of a combat. So we'll shoot the same one he targeted with his hand crossbow. Um, they don't seem that hard to hit. We'll do sharpshooter if it actually hits. Okay. It's, it kills okay. it. Nice. Anything else? Um, I guess we'll have him uh, step back on the roof a little bit, and then uh, that's it. As these bugs begin to land, Bill walks over and pulls out these chains, winging them a slow red hot. Wrong one. There you go. Wait, what 